Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel guys. So what I have for you guys today is going to be a slightly different video than what I've been doing recently. But today guys, we are going to be reacting to the official FIFA 18 ratings for the championship players this season. So when I'm recording this video, all of the ratings have just officially been released by EA for FIFA 18. So I'm excited to get stuck into a couple of these. So, so far, I've seen a few of the ratings so far for FIFA 18, but for the championship clubs, I'm not actually seeing all too many of them. I've seen a couple of them that have been released pre to the, to today. You know, a couple were released a couple of weeks ago, but uh, apart from that, I'm not seeing too many of the ratings. So I'm interested to see how EA have rated the championship championships players this season. So what I would love to know from you guys is what do you make of EA's ratings of your club basically this season? Do you think that you've been underrated by FIFA this year or do you think your ratings are pretty fair this year in FIFA? Let me know down below because I feel like we'll probably get a bit of discussion going on in the comments for this one. And also let me know down below as well, would you like to see some more FIFA 18 content from this channel for the upcoming season? For example, would you like to see me do a career mode on the channel maybe? Let me know down below. I'm interested to know what you guys have to say because if any of you guys do want to see that, I'm more than happy to. So like I said, guys, leave it in the comments down below. Do you agree with how EA has rated your teams this FIFA? So uh, without further ado, guys, let's hop into seeing some of the user ratings. So what we'll do for this video, guys, we'll first of all look over the high highest rated players in the championship and then we'll quickly go over club by club and look at some of the individual ratings of players. So here, as you can see guys, these are the highest rated players in the championship for FIFA 18 and uh, immediately I don't know why Frecklington's there because he plays for Rotherham and they were obviously relegated last season so I'm not sure why he's there. I'm using Foothead to look at these ratings so uh, uh, they've obviously not updated the database there that Rotherham are no longer in the championship but as we can see there, there are the highest rated players in the championship for FIFA 18 and the first thing that stands out on this is me is that Czech and Doy from Birmingham is the highest rated player in the championship. Now now, don't get me wrong, he's a decent player, but the highest rated player in the championship? Really? I'm just not sure about that, to be honest. But uh, we also have John Terry as well, 78 rated, had a bit of a downgrade from last year, but with that 34 pace, that's going to... I don't think he's going to be great to use this year, but uh, obviously as well, we have quite a few Wolves players in the highest rated players this season for FIFA. Jota from Wolves there being 77 rated. I mean, from his start to this season, he could even be higher rated than that. And uh, Tom Kearney as well, 77 rated. Possibly he could have been higher than that as well. His season last year for Fulham was absolutely exceptional. Norwich have got a couple players in here for the highest rated players. I mean, Wes Houlihan, he was always going to be in there around the top highest rated players in the championship. He is a bit of a baller, I'm not going to lie. Even at the age of about 34, 35, I think now, he's still an absolute baller for Norwich, so I can understand why he's still got that rating. Ruben Neves as well, 77 rated. I think that's around about the right mark for him. I think that's pretty fair for Ruben Neves. And then here are some of the other highest rated players this season in the championship. So we don't actually have too many gold cards at the moment in the championship, which is a little disappointing. I think overall, I think that EA do underestimate the championship and some of the quality that goes on in it really. I mean looking over some of these ratings I do feel like EA have been a little bit harsh on maybe some of the championship players. I mean Jota from Birmingham 75 rated. I thought it could have been a little bit more than that really. I mean for him last season from January onwards was absolutely unplayable in the championship. Same with Aidan McGeady as well being 75 rated and Sice from Leeds United as well you know the start he's had to his Leeds career he could possibly maybe a little bit higher than that as well. So let me know down below as to what you guys think of these highest rated players in the championship. Do you agree with them or not? Let me know down below. But uh, now guys, we will go over looking at some of the individual clubs in the championship. So we'll just quickly run through all the ratings for this year's FIFA 18 for the championship. So first of all, we do have Aston Villa, as we can see on screen there. And EA, you know, they're giving them four gold cards this year. But uh, a couple of ratings gone off. You know, Ross McCormack, of course, he was inevitable to get a downgrade from last season. I think he was a gold card last season on FIFA, but him being 73, I mean, that was pretty inevitable, you know, with him not turning up to training because he didn't have his gates working last season and he only scored a couple of goals. And that was not surprising, really. But uh, a couple of other interesting ratings. Kodju, I think, uh, personally, I think he should be higher than 75 rated. I think he should be maybe more around 76, maybe even 77. I do really rate him as a championship striker. 
Bonzi as well for this year's FIFA. A couple of them I think are maybe a little bit harsh from EA. I think Lloyd is Grover, especially, you know, 67 rated. I think he's capable of having maybe a little bit higher than that. From what I've seen of him, he's a very impressive player. And, uh, and Brad Potts only being 59 rated. That's really seemed to baffle me. I thought he'd at least be silver for this year's FIFA. That's criminally underrated in my opinion. Birmingham as well. Uh, well I don't know what it is, but it seems to be transfers coming into the championship from lower leagues really seem to have been hit by EA this season because we have Vassell there for Birmingham. Only 62 rated. That is, that's surprising in my opinion. I thought he'd at least be like a low rated silver. I mean, considering when like Brock Madsen's higher rated than him, I'm not sure how EA are working this sort of stuff out really, but uh, a couple of other decent ratings for them. You know, they got Ndoy being 78 rated. Maybe a little bit overrated there in my opinion, but uh, a couple of them are alright. Bolton's ratings on the surface don't actually look too bad for them in my opinion, you know, considering they are a newly promoted club coming up to the championship. These ratings aren't actually too bad. I remember when Preston were promoted into the championship and EA just seemed to batter us. I think we only had like three or four silver cards. Everyone else seemed to be bronze in our squad, so that's not too bad. Brentford as well, a very interesting squad actually. I think Brentford will be quite a good squad to use for FIFA 18 career modes in my opinion. You've got quite a few young, talented players who probably are going to have quite a high potential actually. So uh, I think Brentford could be a good one for FIFA career mode this year and there were players in there like Ollie Watkins, 66 rated. I thought he might have been a little bit higher than that. Sergi Callas as well, only 66 rated. I thought that was a little bit low for him. Bristol City as well, quite similar to Brentford actually, have a very good squad for career mode. A fairly young squad with quite a bit of potential in quite a few of these players. I mean, we've got players in there like Jamie Patterson, O'Dowder, Brownhill as well and uh, Bobby Reid there being 67 rated of course. Currently the championship's top scorer. I'm interested to see how many goals he'll finish on this season but uh, Jonathan Lecco only 64 rated. I think that's way too underrated for, in my opinion. I mean, from what I've seen of him so far this season in a Bristol City shirt, he should at least be silver. Burton Albion have quite a few silver players to their names this season and they're not too many changes, I don't think, from what immediately meets the eye from their ratings last season, actually. And then we, of course, have Cardiff City, one of the fast starters to the season this year. And uh, in my opinion, EA have been, oh, wow, these are underrated, in my opinion, from EA this season. Zahore only being 70 rated. I'm surprised at that to be honest. I think he should at least be looking at 72, maybe even 73 this season in my opinion. I think he's a terrific striker. That's way too underrated. Mendes Liang as well. What a season he's had so far for Cardiff. Only 67 rated. That's too low in my opinion. Dolby County have got quite an interesting looking squad going into FIFA 18 of course. The two gold players they've got there, both arriving from Hull City in the summer in both Curtis Davis and Tom Huddleston. They're, they're a couple of decent ones for Derby and there. Tom Lawrence as well being a centre forward on this year's FIFA. 71 rated. I thought he could have potentially been a little bit higher than that. And uh, Bradley Johnson as well. He's been battered in terms of his pace this year. Only 58 pace for Bradley Johnson. Darren Bent as well. I remember back in the day of like FIFA 13 or something. He'd have about 90 pace. He's really been shot down by EA. Fulham have had quite a few upgrades from their squad last season of course. With them having that terrific year last season. That's no surprise of course. They've got four gold cards in there. And uh, Maybe even a couple of these could actually be higher rates. I mean, one that I have to point out is Ryan Sessegnon. How he's only 66 rated, I, I just don't know. I don't know where EA pluck these ratings from. I just don't understand it. I know that he is an incredibly young player, but even so, he at least warrants a higher than 66, surely. Hull City squad has taken quite a hit from last season, of course, with them being relegated to the championship. That was always to be expected, but uh, some of their standout players for FIFA 18, of course, going to be Grosicki and Abel Hernandez as well, of course. Unfortunately for him, he's probably going to miss the whole of the season, but uh, in terms of FIFA, he's got a decent card. Ipswich Town are a side which this season in FIFA 18, I'm actually quite liking the look of them this season actually. I mean, the standout for them, in my opinion, has to be Joey Garner. I've still got a soft spot in my heart for Garner of course, for me being a Preston fan. Back in the day, what a player he was. 70 rated this year on FIFA. I believe he was that last season as well, so it's nice to see that he's not been downgraded. And uh, 80 physical as well, he's going to be a bit of a target man this season in FIFA in my opinion. And uh, him and Waghorn up front. Waghorn, only 69 rated. He could have been a bit higher than that. Leeds have quite an interesting squad going into FIFA 18 this year in my opinion of course. There are two gold cards there. 
honestly, in my opinion, I think those two maybe actually should be a little bit higher than that. Pontus Janssen, I'd argue, deserves to be probably at least 77 rated, maybe. And their size as well, I think, should be higher than 75. But, uh, I mean, look at Lasaga up front. 48 pace. No one's going to be using him on Ultimate Team this year, surely. I mean, he's got 80 shooting, which for a silver card is decent, but... 48 pace, that's going to be disgusting to you, surely in FIFA this year, but uh, a couple of players underrated in my opinion, Phillips only being 67 rated, maybe that's a little bit low, uh, there's Saka as well, 68, maybe he could have been a bit higher than that, but uh, nice to see Ronaldo Vieira get a nice upgrade going into this year's FIFA, he looks like a good card this year. Middlesbrough have quite a weird selection of players going into this year's FIFA, the one that really stands out to me out of this list is Brita Sambalonga only being 72 rated. That really does baffle me in my opinion. Considering some of the gold players we've got in the championship I think a Sambalonga is on that level really. I think at least he should be 74, 75 in that sort of region. But to be 72 is way too underrated for a Sambalonga in my opinion. I think he's got games to goal ratio. I think he's got one of the best in the championship of course. His injury record over the past couple seasons hasn't been great but 72 is way too low for a Sambalonga. Millwall have got an interesting bunch of cards going into this year's FIFA 18 with Lee Gregory being the pick of them, of course, being 68 rated. Got quite a few 68 rated players in here, actually, Millwall. But uh, overall, it is a solid squad going into FIFA. Norwich City are the next squad to go ahead and take a look at. And then uh, Norwich have got a couple of interesting ratings going on in here. Of course, the start to the season for Norwich has been a really fluctuating one for them so far this season. But here are their cards going into FIFA. FIFA 18 and of course we've already discussed Wes Houlihan and uh, Nelson Oliveira in there as well, 74 rated, Alex Pritchard as well, he'll be a decent player in this year's FIFA I think. Nottingham Forest are the next squad to go ahead and have a little bit of a look at. Forest fans, let me know down below, do you think you've been dealt harshly this year by EA in terms of your ratings? I think a couple people are a little bit underrated here but it's nice to see Ben Brereton of course being in this year's FIFA. I don't think he was in Ultimate Team last year, I think he was in FIFA but not in Ultimate team. He's going to head and got a 66 rated card, 86 pace. He looks like he's going to have a really high ceiling in terms of career mode this year. So Forrest could be another good one to use for FIFA in career mode this year. And then we do get to my club, Preston North End. So we'll have a bit of a chat about what I think of this year's Preston ratings. Do I think we've been underrated by EA? On the whole, yeah, I do. I think we've been dealt pretty harshly with a couple of these ratings. First of all, Shawnee Maguire. He's rated 65. EA, what are you thinking? Ben Pringle is rated higher than Sean Maguire on this year's FIFA. That is baffling to me. So is Marnik Vermeil. Don't get me wrong, I still rate these players, but for Ben Pringle, Marnik Vermeil, Andy Boyle, I suppose, to be higher rated, and Tommy Spurs to be higher rated than Sean Maguire is baffling. Donald Fisher as well, he's 62. For God's sake, yeah, he was nominated for the Championship Player of the Month the other week, and I know that EA do base these ratings off last season, but even so, I feel like they should be a little bit more educated. We do have a couple decent ratings in here, though. Ben Pearson being a 73, that's more than deserved, in my opinion. He is just an oh, absolute warrior in the middle of the park. And the uh, same with Greg Cunningham as well, also being a 73. I do feel like maybe a couple players are a bit overrated. For example, Paul Gallagher being 71. I think that's maybe a little bit kind on Gallagher. John Welsh being a 68. He doesn't really tend to play too much these days. But uh, a couple of the other ones, Tom Barcusen. He's got 93 pace. In my opinion, he should have 99. This is QPR squad going into this year's FIFA 18. And uh, a couple of solid cards in there for this year's FIFA. But once again, a couple ratings that EA just seemed to be hammering down that I think are a little bit harsh. Luke Freeman, I think, is a terrific player. He at least deserves a 70-rated card, in my opinion. Josh Scowen as well, last season for Barnsley, he was terrific, but EA have only given him a 67. These are Reading's ratings going into this year's FIFA 18, and uh, once again, a couple ones which are a little bit low-rated, in my opinion. Swift could easily be higher than 72, in my opinion, but there uh, were some of their new additions in here. Aluko being a 74 rated. Him on the wing with that 88 pace. He's going to be deadly for Reading this season on FIFA 18. 
And then we do have the first Sheffield club to go ahead and talk over. That, of course, being Sheffield United. And uh, in my opinion, once again, EA have been way too harsh with these ratings. I mean, the top two we, are, of course, had to talk about are Billy Sharp and Fleck from United. And uh, in my opinion, both of these are a little bit underrated. Sheffield United fans, what do you think they should be rated? I mean, Fleck especially. How? He's only 69 rated. After the season he had last season in League One for Sheffield United, that can completely baffles me. Sheffield Wednesday have got a bit of an interesting side going into this year's FIFA. A lot of silver players, a couple of which been a little bit underrated in my opinion. I mean, Forestier I think has been downgraded from last season, if I'm not mistaken, being 73 rated. Sheffield Wednesday fans, do you feel like that was warranted? I know there's a bit of a, a split reaction over what Wednesday fans have to say about Forestier, so that's an interesting one to call. Gary Hooper as well being 73 rated. Then into our second to last score we do go, we then have Sunderland to go ahead and talk over and uh, Sunderland have got a couple interesting players to go ahead and pick out I mean Aidan McGeady he's still got something in my heart for me after that last season he had for Preston he's still a special player of course still got those five star skill moves so he'll still be a bit of a baller in this year's FIFA but uh, Jack Rodwell being 74 rated is it just me or is that way too high. Sunderland fans, what's your opinion of Jack Rodwell? I'm genuinely interested to know about this because uh, for me, he just... He's a, he's a funny player. I'm not sure 74 is right. And then our last squad to go ahead and look over is, of course, going to be Wolves. And uh, Wolves this season, in my opinion, probably have one of the best squads to go ahead and do a career mode with them this year because uh, some of their players this season are absolutely ridiculous. I mean, uh, Jota especially, 77 rated. He could be a little bit higher than that, in my opinion. You know, with the start he's had to the season, he's been absolutely ridiculous. And uh, Helder Costa as well, playing on the other wing. With that 9 92 pace, 79 dribbling. He's going to be a bit of a baller this year. And then we also have the goalkeepers to go ahead and have a look at. I'm not sure why Foothead have this sort of layout where you have to search for goalkeepers separately, but uh, for the FIFA 18, here are the highest rated goalkeepers in the championship. And uh, a couple of these ratings are just... I don't know what EA are doing really, but for some reason they've got Mark Bunn being 72 and Sam Johnson being 70 rated of course, with Sam Johnson being Aston Villa's number one goalkeeper. I'm not sure how they can figure these sort of things, it's just a bit bizarre, but of course uh, with uh, some of these highest rated goalkeepers, who do you guys think deserves to be the highest rated goalkeeper in the championship? So there you guys have it, that will wrap it up for this video guys, so of course there were some of my opinions on what I thought of this season's FIFA 18 ratings for the championship players. So uh, what is your guys' opinions on what you think of how EA has rated your club this year in FIFA? Let me know down below. But apart from that, guys, that will now wrap it up for this video. So thank you so much for watching. So tomorrow, guys, will be when my championship score prediction video does come out. And you're not going to want to miss that video because we have some massive games coming up this weekend. But uh, apart from that, guys, thank you so much for watching. So if you have enjoyed, make sure you do leave a like. It is always massive massively appreciated as well as that make sure you subscribe for regular championship content but apart from that guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next one